Hello and welcome to the MBS Show, episode number 432. I am your host, Norman Sanzo, and well, we got some news for you this week. Not much, but there's some. There's some. So, let's not dilly dally and let's hop right into it. First news, Kotobukiya Sunset Shimmer in person. So, um, Kotobukiya released stock image of Sunset Shimmer back in August, but they aren't always completely accurate. Someone over on Twitter has spotted her out in the wild and took a few pictures to show of what you can all expect out of her once she releases. So, I seen the pictures. I'm just going to blow it up for you guys. And yeah, they they are amazing. Usually, I don't really buy much figures, but I've told you guys before that Sunset is one of the uh, figures that I really, really, really want. And just look at her; like she looks good. I don't remember she having a collar. And the pony is a bit off, like this. Um, um, yeah, I, I, no cursor on screen, but you can look at the leg where the joint are not uh, closed properly, so you can really see the seams. So yeah, it's pretty okay. Does this have to have a collar? I don't remember. But overall, this looks good, and this is one of the figures that I really want. You can just take a look at the jacket itself; like it's really well made. I'm very biased on this one. But as per usual, um, if I'm not mistaken, pre-order is at what over hundred, under hundred, over hundred, depending on you buy. And the Twitter picture is Ami Ami. Uh, Ami Ami, if I'm not mistaken, yes, Ami Ami is a Japanese hobby store where they sell figures and so on. And this is their website that they what you call this? Uh, took a picture and kind of show it off. I don't read. Okay, you want? I'm gonna tweet translate. What do you say, my friend? Uh, Akihabara Radio Kaikan. Kotobukiya's My Little Pony Bishoujo Sunset Shimmer uh, Deiko Mas is on display That's about it Nothing more than that But yeah, um, this is cool I like it And yeah um, I really can't wait to get it uh, I do wonder who should I contact to find this Maybe my local game store? My local anime shop? Probably but um, this is one of those figures that's going to cost a lot. Uh, we got no idea if it's out in the wild yet. Uh, if it's out in the wild, I pro- probably should have reported on it. But I don't think so. This could be one of those uh, display versions for Ami Ami. But anyway, uh, let's move on to the next news. And the next news is Pony Life gets a second season in spring 2021. So, according to the Russian Licensing Summit Online, Pony Life will not be stopping with its single season this year. And infographic during the main presentation released a 2021 second season in spring, probably following closely to the release of the first If Hasbro's usual second uh, seasonal schedule is an indication. We know Pony Life is moving to YouTube soon, so there is a good chance it will be there. If not, we can probably expect some channels somewhere to pick it up for a weekly viewing. Who knows at this point? So, yes, last week we reported that Pony Life is heading to YouTube, and the other thing is Pony Life is not aired in the United States yet. So, What's going on here? What can we take a look see at this? Um, from what I can understand or from what I know is that uh, Canada is airing Pony Life uh, weekly. Uh, two episodes a week. There are, 
if I'm not mistaken, it's a 26 series. Sorry, it's a 26 episode show. So one season is 26 episodes. On top of that, uh, with the way that it's releasing, with two episodes a week, we probably cut that short from 26 weeks to you do the math. So, um, United States haven't aired any of the Pony Life episodes yet, so we got no news on what's going to go there. What we do know is that YouTube or Hasbro is just putting up on their My Little Pony page. So, a second season? Hmm. So, one of the few things that shows like this can make money with in the olden days is that they sell it to networks that want to air the show and from that point on they get paid uh, with ads or whatnot and then uh, with how Hasbro did it is with syndication from no with subscription to their show Discovery Family um, more people get the channel the more they get paid and so on but with Pony Life moving to YouTube instead of the traditional method, this is one of those, in my opinion, uh, new ways of distributing content. Uh, with how... See, this is going to be a little bit strange because of how YouTube's, uh, what you will call this, uh, advertising thing goes. Because uh, in a normal channel, when you upload a video, you can monetize it. Uh, people watch it, you get ads in the beginning, middle, probably end, and so on. Or you could just have one of those banners ad playing in the, or just popping up in the middle of the, not middle, but in the middle bottom of the video. Uh, it's not evasive, it's just there, you can click You can click X anytime you want. So that's how a normal video works. They get attention, video gets money, or Google AdSense. Um, YouTube gets a cut, the uh, content producer also gets a cut. But with the recent, um, what was the thing, that act that recently happened? Uh, ads on children's video are, uh, if I'm not mistaken, a big no-no. So, he, I'm not 100% sure how this is going to move on. So it'll be interesting to see what they do with it. I mean, they. I'm not hundred percent sure how to make money in this, because if I don't know, I mean, maybe I'm not hundred percent sure. Maybe it could be the same thing. People click, there's ads playing and whatnot, and so on. But let's take a look. See at this graph. So, mm, I don't read Russian. <laughs> But from what I can tell here, okay, season 1 is there and season 2 is going to come out. Then the movie, and then a 44 minute special, G5 season 1, G5 season 1, G5 season 2, and G5 season 2. So, it is, another thing is, um, the movie is slated to come out in 2021, that's good. Then there's going to be a 44 minute special in 2020, season 1. I think it's going to be two parts of the year, um, 20, 20, uh, 2022 and we'll bleed over to 2023 and season 2 and uh, part 1 and part 2 will go, we'll follow the same route. Uh, it's the same uh, mid-season hiatus for the show, like what we recently got, so that's pretty good. But anywho, um, my babbling aside, that's how the sh show is. So, anywho, um, <coughs> let's move on. Well, um, I don't have any more to say. Yes. See you. Anywho, uh, let's move on to the next topic. And next topic is what have I been doing my week? Yes, my week. Let's go full. So, my week has been pretty okay. Not that bad. It's rather boring. Um, what can I say? Um, there's nothing much to say. I haven't done anything 
much I've played a bit of magic, uh, recorded a few things here and there, but essentially it's rather dull. Mm. So it's kind of slow. It's been a slow week. No movies, no games. Um, technically, there's a few games I really want to get, but don't have the money for it for now. So yeah, the, that's rather disappointing. My week has been dull, yes. But anywho, um, let's move on to the next topic. And next topic is, well, credits, I guess. So, if you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at Uh You can also reach us on the Twitters. The show Twitter account is at show, And my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. And also, please subscribe to us on iTunes, YouTube, and Stitcher Radio. Uh, for the YouTube, don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date. And well, um, you can also catch us on PonyLive.com. Links will be in the show notes. Also, don't forget to um, subscribe to the Review and Discussion Podcast on iTunes and Stitcher Radio. Over there, you'll catch me, Silver Quill, and Totera reviewing the Pony episodes, comics, and movies slash specials. Um, sometimes we don't do ponies, we like to cover other things, show how versatile we are. Uh, we like to do movies, comics, games, and so on. Anyway, if you would like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash mbsshow. With every support, you get the weekly access to review and discussion podcasts, exclusive and deleted content. And a huge thank you from me. And talking about thank yous, I would like to thank Lucky Knight, Jeffrey, Tristan, and also Mr. Black. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo, and I'll catch you guys next week with another fun episode of the Mia Show. See ya.